All right, guys, Good Boy 32 here. Check it out. We're sitting in the Freedom Office. I'm sitting here diligently doing my work when I get a holler from my wife who's in the next room over there with a broken leg. I go in there and she says, this article is pretty interesting. I think it is pertinent to what's going on today as well as the 2A gun world. And I'm, I looked at it and I said, oh yeah, Delta to ban checked firearms, increase security on flights to DC. Okay. Here we go. So starting this weekend, Delta Airlines CEO Ed Bastian said the airline will ban passengers traveling to Washington, D.C. from checking firearms as part of increased security measures ahead of the inauguration. Great. So now they are going to infringe on your Second Amendment rights in the guise of security and safety because they don't think that, uh, well, anybody going to D.C. and they got a firearm for some reason is a dangerous person. And this goes back to where I was talking about. If you have a firearm, well, you're just a potential criminal as far as the left looks at it. Those individuals who are anti-gun. We're all on high alert based on the events over the last couple of weeks up in Washington. Only law enforcement officials will be exempt from the ban. Of course, that's the way they always, always look at it. Exempt from the ban. Oh, my gosh. Bastion said the airline will also add other security measures at the airport on planes, seen and unseen, in the coming days as we look at the week ahead. Asked whether he was worried about passengers' behavior, he said basically 99.99% .99 of the Delta passengers are really great and doing a good job. Because, well, I guess there's always that 0.1% who wants to check a firearm. I know I travel all the time, and checking a firearm is no big deal. Never has been. And if you're going to D.C., you may even have a problem with the firearm because once you get it, I guess you're in a D.C., depending on if you're going into Reagan or you're going into the other one over there. But if you're going into Reagan, uh, probably uh, because of the bullshit they got in D.C., you probably don't want to be having a firearm with you anyway. I don't want to overreact. I think this moment, hopefully in time, the country outcried election results. Bastion said we, he was pleased to see President Trump's call for calm and order late Wednesday. <laughs> hopefully that will help. There are some people out there, they're just not going to stop. And that's it. Delta and the other airlines stepped up security precautions on flights leaving Washington last weekend following the January 6th attack. And this is another thing I want to talk about. The, the words that they use, the insurrection, the attack, the invasion. Oh my God. If you, you thought that these guys had, uh, you know, I'm not talking about whether it's right or wrong, but I am talking about the words that the left the media have used to emphasize their impact, their message, their agenda. They think that anybody who doesn't think like them are evil. Delta and other airlines stepped up security precautions on flights leaving Washington last weekend following the January 6th attack and the inbound flights leading up to it. Yet there were still problems. Alaska Airlines banned 14 passengers Washington to Seattle flight due to unruly behavior and not complying with its mask policy. Now airlines are assuming a similar posture ahead of the inauguration. American Airlines said late Wednesday that it will increase security at the airport and on planes. This is the big kicker, and I want you guys to focus in on this. The airline also won't serve service alcohol on flights to and from D.C. area airports from January 16th to January 21. With the exception of those people flying up in first class. And if you fly enough like I do, you're going to fly up in first class, which is kind of bullshit, but in any case. Uh, tell you a small story, a little antidote here. On the way out to Vegas last year, I, uh, I bring on my little own little things, okay, my little medicine bottles and uh, full of scotch, and just so happened to be sitting beside Larry Vickers. That poor guy had to hear me talk, and every time that poor, he decided he was all right, he's done listening, he put his earphones back on, I was like, I'm going to tell you something, Larry. So anyway, I had to pull him back off. All right, so I thought this was be interesting for you guys to hear. Uh, is it right for these organizations like Delta uh, and probably following up with the American and the other ones to deny you your ability to take your firearm, check it as you have always done when you fly, and all of a sudden we can't do that. Huh. They do have a right. They can deny you that ability. Uh, but in any case, let me know what your thoughts are. So uh, that's it. 
It's Good Boy 32. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and hand right down so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform 24 7 for our freedom because freedom's not free. And I'm talking about the men and women in uniform who defend our Constitution as it was written by our founding fathers. I got these in the other day. This is pretty cool. Check that out. Ta da! Thought that'd be pretty cool flying on the car on Monday. Y'all be good. Go to Boy 32. I'm out.